Copilot notebooks are a feature that Microsoft launched relatively recently alongside the new Copilot homepage UI. And you'd be forgiven for not having even noticed that they're there. Microsoft released them without much fanfare. And I think that's a shame because I've taken a look at this and it really is a fantastic feature. Like many of the features that you will find within M365, it's the small things that kind of add up. So what are notebooks? Well, simply put, they're a place to gather all of your files from disparate locations which may exist across your tenant. Let's say you're working on a project. You may have Word documents that you've shared in meetings. You may have uh, PowerPoint files, PDFs, Excel spreadsheet, loop pages, uh, meeting notes, and they're kind of scattered around all over the place. You can kind of get to all those files. You could try using a standard Copilot chat to find them. But what if you could bring all of those files together into a single location and have Copilot reason over it? That's exactly what Copilot Notebooks will do. So let's head on over to the computer and take a look. So here I am within the standard Microsoft 365 Copilot window. And over on the left-hand side here, tucked underneath chat, so underneath my agents, my conversation, my pages, we have the notebooks icon. So I'm just gonna click into there, and I will just point out that notebooks are for licensed M365 Copilot users only. So I'm gonna start this off by creating a new notebook for my project. And those of you who've watched some of our previous webinars will be familiar with the mobile dog grooming business that my colleague Ian and I have discussed. So I'm gonna call this Regal Rovers, which is the name of our new business. And you'll see that I'm, I'm presented with a list of the files that I've been working on most recently. And if I want to add them, it's as simple as just uh, clicking on each one in turn. If the files that I want aren't listed here, then I can perform a search as well. So I'm gonna search for grooming. Uh, these are the files I'm looking at, so I'm going to add the dog grooming reviews spreadsheet. I'm going to add this document on marketing plan, and I'm going to add in this loop page as well. And if search isn't returning the results that I want, I can use this little attach cloud files button over here. I'm then presented with the standard OneDrive file picker, so I can browse through files that live within my own OneDrive. I can look at recent, I can look at shared, any files I've favorited, even browse by people and meetings if I wish to. Great thing here is as well, over and click access. So any of the other sites which I have access to, so they can be SharePoint sites, team channels, they will all be listed here. So if I want to click through and browse through those files and folders, I'll be able to pick them and then add them to my notebook. So I'm able to bring a disparate array of files scattered across my tenant into a single place. It's important to note that these files aren't being copied, they are being referenced from their existing location. So I'm never at any point in my duplicating data. And now that I've added my files, I can, if I wish, just jump straight into asking questions. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to customize my Copilot instructions. So I'm gonna give this notebook some, uh, some custom instructions on how it should actually respond to questions, how I'd like to be addressed. Those of you who watched the previous video on Copilot memory will be familiar with this concept. So I've said respond in an informal manner, use bullet points to summarize information, use tables when presenting large sets of data, and don't be afraid to use emojis where appropriate. I've noticed recently that Copilot is starting to use more emojis in its output. I'm a big fan of emojis, so in this case I'm asking it to be uh, generous with them, and we'll see what that looks like. So I'm going to click and save. And now I can start asking questions. So I'm just going to ask it to summarize my marketing plan. And Copilot is now searching through all of the files I've added and it's going to uh, give me some output. So there we go, a quick and cheerful summary of the uh, mobile dog grooming business in London. Note the use of uh, appropriate emojis as well. So we've got the little dog and we've got the little van there. Um, it might have gone a little over the top on the emojis, but I could always kind of go back and tweak that if I wanted to. Um, but here I've got the big picture. I've got my, my market and my audience, my competitors and the edge, along with some basic pricing and what I need to do about branding and marketing. 
um, advertising as well and what the customer experience is going to be uh, as well as some of my financial data so that's a that's a really good kind of summary of that uh, and if I wanted to I could say draft a one-page summary of this so we'll see okay it's produced output which is largely similar to what I had before um, I'm gonna say write a social media post for a launch that's that would be interesting so let's just see what copilot will come up again lots of lots of emojis I might want to tone that down depending on the social media platform that I post that in uh, London's fluffiest VIPs deserve the best and we're bringing it straight to your doorstep fantastic I like it Ian would be pleased and it's even suggested that I can tailor this for Instagram Facebook or Google business just say the word I really really like that so I'm just gonna go back to my notebook homepage and then just as a quick tour of the interface you can see now I've added my files in as reference I can kind of filter these if I want so I can filter them by Word by Excel by PowerPoint by the by the relevant documents you'll see also I've got this uh, this chat so it will build up a history of the chats that I've had with this agent so at any point I can kind of click through and review the output of those as well and of course at any point in the future if I want to add in a new file it's as simple as clicking in uh, add the reference here so I'm not stuck with what I have at the beginning as my project evolves over time and I want to add in new files so it could be um, new PowerPoint decks new pitch documents to investors the minutes from meeting notes anything like that I can kind of add these in as the project evolves over time one really interesting feature and I was very skeptical of this when I first saw that I can if I wish I can generate an audio overview so I'm just going to click on this and we'll see what happens and it says this may take up to two minutes, which in my experience is largely correct. So we'll just we'll just wait for that and we'll we'll come back once it's finished. So that's now finished. That took around uh, a minute or so to generate. So let's give it a listen and see what Copilot has done. Hello and welcome to this in-depth overview of starting a mobile dog grooming business in London. If you've ever looked at a van parked on your street with a cartoon dog and wondered what it would be like to run one of those businesses or to have your own salon on wheels, this is for you. Absolutely. Today we're taking a close look at a business plan and marketing guide specifically tailored to the London pet grooming scene. The documents laid the groundwork for everything from market research and equipment shopping to uh, projecting your first year profits and even scaling up in the future. It's quite the all-in-one manual for new entrepreneurs in the pet industry. Right, and what I find fascinating is that it's not only practical, it's a real reflection of how people in London see their pets as part of their family. Okay, I'm going to pause that there. There's 8 minutes and 35 uh, seconds worth of audio there. That was really quite impressive. So, as you heard, what it's done, it's generated a podcast style discussion between two participants and I think that the the audio quality of the voices that it's produced there are quite fantastic now you might think okay so what this is a little bit of a gimmick why why would I use this well let's imagine that you've you've got your project you've built up quite a large selection of files and um, you want to kind of you want to kind of give a colleague uh, an overview someone who's perhaps new to the project and you want to be able to give them an overview of uh, what the project is all about now you could give them all of the documents to read um, that might take them some time some people prefer to listen now I often prefer to to kind of digest information this way as well um, I will often listen to, to audiobooks rather than than reading text because I can do that when I'm out running or when I'm on, on a train so I can kind of digest the information that way and it's a, it's a really useful way to be able to kind of share that information quickly and easily because uh, everyone kind of absorbs information in slightly different ways I'm gonna say keep that file so there we go that's a quick whistle stop uh, overview of copilot notebooks I was a little skeptical of these at first I must admit um, but having played around with it a little bit I really think this is going to be a game changer for anyone who's managing a project whether that's large or small what a great feature I think copilot notebooks are going to be a real game changer for a lot of people particularly those who are managing projects we've started to use it internally across all of our projects and particularly within my team where we're dealing with lots of disparate information we have meetings and discussions about progress on particular projects 
bringing all of that data together into a single location allows us to be a lot more productive and a lot more focused when we're actually working in project mode. The audio overview feature may seem like a gimmick, and I must admit I thought the same as well at first, but having generated and listened to a few of these, I really think this is a fantastic feature. As I'd said, if you're bringing a new member into your project, you can give them that file to kind of listen to, to, to bring them up to speed with it. And it's a really, really good use of the AI technology to, to kind of summarize information. I'm gonna be really interested to see where this type of technology goes. Will that extend into video as well? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Microsoft pulls something like that out of the bag within the next year or so. I'd suggest you all give Copilot Notebooks a try. You really have nothing to lose. Having a place where you can bring all of your project files together and give Copilot its own kind of personality, which may be distinct between different types of projects, really will help you to be more productive. And if there's anything you'd like to talk to us about, Copilot or anything else M365 related, then head on over to our website at iglutech.com. It is linked down in the description. And uh, fill out that contact form and we'd love to talk to you.